Hey guys, it's Norm from Tested.com. I'm here with Paul Travers, the president of Vuzix. I'm wearing one of your company's latest inventions. It's a product that's not released yet. What is this? This is what's called smart glasses, the Model M100. And basically, it's like your smartphone, but it's all built into the glasses. The only thing it's missing to turn it into a full up phone is the 3G, the wireless, inter or wireless network service, which it gets today through an interface on your phone. It's really designed as a peripheral for the phone. So, peripheral, it's in my peripheral vision, that's what it is, it's a heads up display, right? So a wearable computer, and it, it really is a full Android device with an ARM processor, a full battery, and like you said, 3G starting today, and a display. So tell me about the display and why you guys decided to create a heads up smart glass interface. Augmented reality in the smartphone space is becoming a big deal. In fact, by 2014, 25% of apps downloaded, they estimate, are going to be smart or AR based apps. The problem is AR on a phone, you have to hold the phone up, point the camera out at the real world and then look on the screen. We wanted to replace that experience. So with these guys right here, the camera or the display that you see is effectively like looking at your phone right here. And the HD camera that's sitting here is like the camera that's on the other side of the phone. All the stuff in the back end is the phone. So now you can do high end AR snacking apps for this guy because it's a little tiny screen in a comparison to what the real AR experience people would like to have. Right, so when you say very tiny screen, you told me earlier it's about a, a 240, uh, 480 by 240 resolution screen. Yeah, 428 by 240 full color. And when you look into the display, literally it's just like holding your cell phone out here this far away. As I can see right now, because I have both my eyes open, it works over glasses, and it looks like there is a small window right here that's brightly colored, and you can run video, uh, notifications, and in the future, augmented reality apps. So like a monocle for Yelp, you know, pointing out where the, the restaurants are in the area. Exactly. Correct. So why is there a full Android computer in, the, in this heads-up display, and why do you need an Android device, like a tablet, to pair with it? Well, so part of the problem is getting the information from the camera down into the phone, let the phone process on it, and then let it feed the video back up into the glasses. By the time it's all said and done, it's many, many frames behind. So the experience is miserable. So what we did was we put all the processing power in the glasses so that it would happen real time. With this guy right here, it can run 60 to 120 frames a second, so it's really fast, the interface. And it's just Bluetooth from this to your Android phone? If you want, it's a Bluetooth it's a Bluetooth pairing first, and then there's a Wi-Fi link at the same time. So I can, from my phone, say, start recording video and my glasses will record. Or I can set it up so I just press a button in the glasses and they'll record. Do you envision this being a standalone device and not being tethered to a phone in the future? Yes, we do. <laughs> but today, it's a difficult thing. Holding on to this and trying to run the interface is a challenge. So we felt letting the phone manage that through something like this interface would make it a lot better. This is a window into what's in that display right there. So when I scroll this guy right here, it scrolls the video up and down. And these are apps that Vuzix you guys are developing and you'll be opening it out to other developers? Software developer kits are available now. Okay. We have two versions, we have a gold and silver. And with that, you can get the skins and everything you need to start developing apps for this guy today. It has a bunch of Android apps in it right now that just work though. That's the cool thing about running that operating system. It's not difficult to make an app work in it. If I wanted to record video on this and not have it tethered to a phone, can I also store this 1080p video onto the device locally? There's 16 gig of, of its own memory and then there's a CF SD, micro SD card slot. So you're sporting 32 gigs right now. Right on my ear? Right on your ear. All right, and, and battery life, how long is it going to last if I'm wearing this all day? It all dep it depends on what you're doing. If you're, if you're doing um, enhanced hands-free sort of stuff where it's answering the phone and sort of stuff, it's hours and hours. You start doing stuff where you're doing high-end, you know, cruising AR stuff and video recording, HD video, it, it power goes down. I don't have really hard numbers yet, but I can tell you this guy, short of like 10 or 15 minutes, has not been plugged in for the last two or three hours, and it's typically streaming video. And will this be affordable? Less than 500 bucks for the first systems and it'll be out by midsummer. Midsummer, all right. Can't wait to walk around. Maybe 98% man, 2% machine. Still all cop. <laughs> Straight up, man. <laughs> Thanks so much, Paul. Uh, we will be back with more from CES 2013. You'll find more at tested.com. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.